Welcome to the fascinating world of a 1973 film that's more than just a cinematic experience. In Godspell, directed by David Green, you're in for a treat of funny, shocking, and sad moments that'll keep you hooked till the end. Have you ever found yourself deeply impacted by a particular scene or moment in this movie? Or perhaps, do you remember the first time you watched it? This musical retelling of the Gospel of Matthew takes you on a journey through song, dance, and laughter, offering a unique perspective on timeless teachings. But hold on, there's more. We've got interesting facts lined up, so stay tuned. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to Godspell is as unique as the film itself. So, buckle up for a ride down memory lane and hit play on that nostalgia button. Funny, shocking, and sad facts await you. Share your thoughts and memories, it's a conversation worth having. Rediscovering a classic musical from 1973, one can't help but notice its unique take on timeless teachings. Set against the bustling streets of New York City, the film immerses viewers in a journey of song and story shedding light on the joy of following guiding principles. While some aspects may feel dated today, the movie's heartwarming message still resonates, offering a refreshing perspective on Christian values. Amidst the lively performances and memorable tunes, the city itself becomes a character, adding depth to the narrative. Despite its quirks, the movie stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of positivity and light, making it a memorable cinematic experience for those who appreciate its charm. In a memorable scene, two actors face challenges during the filming of a dance sequence in Times Square in 1973. The task required precise coordination and posed safety risks due to the narrow platform in front of the screen. To ensure safety without obstructing the shot, a thin wire replaced the safety barrier, albeit increasing the danger, especially for one actor afraid of heights. Despite the difficulties, the scene was captured amidst a captivated crowd. Another significant location in the story was the Cherry Lane Theater, where a crucial scene was filmed. This venue held special meaning as it was where a popular play debuted, laying the groundwork for its cinematic adaptation. Transitioning from off-Broadway to Broadway, the production of the show marked a notable milestone. A particular actor played a pivotal role in all versions, bridging the different mediums seamlessly. The synchronicity of the scenes, the historical significance of the Cherry Lane Theater, and the consistent presence of a key actor weave together a compelling narrative of the production's journey. In 1973, Lynn Thigpen and Victor Garber shared the screen in the season six, episode three of Law and Order titled Savages. Here, Garber took on the role of a murderer facing the death penalty, while Thigpen portrayed the trial judge. Director David Green clarified the dynamics behind the scenes in a letter published in the deck, six, 1972 issue of Variety. Green emphasized that Tebelak, although credited for the original concept, was not co-directing the film. Tebelak had minimal involvement in pre-production planning discussions and attended only a few rehearsals. Green took the helm, steering the project more independently. For Lynn Thigpen, the film marked a departure from her usual repertoire. It was her inaugural foray into the world of musicals, having previously focused on acting and straight plays. This glimpse into the collaborative efforts and the distinct roles played by key figures adds depth to the understanding of the film's production dynamics, highlighting the convergence of talents and the creation of the cinematic experience. In crafting the 1973 movie, choreographer Sammy Bayes devised a vaudeville-style choreography for several scenes, tailored to the cast's lack of dance training. This approach allowed the ensemble to execute the numbers with relative ease. The decision to set the film in a deserted New York originated from composer Stephen Schwartz. Initially deemed too challenging to shoot, director David Green later embraced the concept after having a convincing dream. The film's distinctive setting added a unique dimension to the production. During filming, two original cast members, Peggy Gordon and Sonia Manzano, faced constraints. Manzano's commitment to Sesame Street led to her role being shared between Joanna Jonas and Lynn Thigpen. Gordon, intending to be part of the film, succumbed to tonsillitis, resulting in Katie Hanley taking her place. The film's dynamic cast navigated these challenges, maintaining the production's momentum. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the collaborative effort that brought the movie to life, showcasing the creativity and adaptability of the cast and crew. In considering casting choices, David Green explored options among contemporary American and British pop stars. However, he eventually abandoned the idea due to concerns about their acting abilities potentially overshadowing the story and characters. 
Notably, two significant songs from the original stage musical remained instrumental in the movie adaptation. We beseech thee featured in the Cherry Lane theater scene, while learn your lessons well played during the car calliope scene. Additionally, Beautiful City, a new song composed for the film, later became incorporated into subsequent stage productions. During the performance of God Save the People, Lynn wore a distinctive Robert Crumb illustrated Keep on Truck and Shirt, adding a unique touch to the scene. Victor Garber made his cinematic debut in a notable role in a film that has left a lasting mark. In one of the scenes depicting the Last Supper, he, portraying Jesus, recited the Hamatzi, a common Hebrew prayer traditionally spoken over bread in Judaism. This specific prayer, a daily ritual for Jews before meals, added a cultural layer to the movie. Interestingly, Garber's involvement with religious themes extends beyond Godspell. He not only played Jesus in this 1973 film, but also took on the role of the devil in major stage productions of Damn Yankees. This dual portrayal showcases his versatility in embodying contrasting characters central to different narratives. The Godspell movie, beyond being Victor Garber's debut, intertwines religious traditions with cinematic storytelling. Garber's dual portrayal of iconic figures in stage productions further illustrates his range as an actor, making him a notable figure in both the religious and theatrical realms. Top of the World Trade Center, still under construction, serves as the backdrop for all for the best finale. It marked Richard G. Hyman's solo credit as director of photography. During the Last Supper scene, Jesus recites the Kiddush, a Hebrew prayer commonly spoken over wine during Shabbat services. This version is a condensed form of the prayer, omitting some sections typically recited in homes and synagogues. In the bustling world of musicals and theater, one standout production of the 1970s garnered attention, not only for its captivating performances, but also for its unique connections to historical landmarks and cultural movements. Amidst the vibrant theater scene, a certain show emerged, capturing the essence of a timeless story with a modern twist. As the curtain rose on this particular production, audiences were transported to the heart of New York City's Central Park. Here, amidst the iconic Bethesda Fountain, a pivotal scene unfolded, adding depth and resonance to the performance. In a moment of collective immersion, the cast, with the exception of the central figure, immersed themselves in the waters, symbolizing renewal and transformation. This fountain, known as the Angel of the Waters, holds significance beyond its role in the production. Crafted by sculptor Emma Stebbins in Wedding 1873, it stands as a testament to both artistic expression and historical representation. Stebbins, drawing inspiration from her partner Charlotte Saunders Cushman, infused the sculpture with symbolism and meaning, creating a piece that transcends its physical form. Interestingly, the impact of this fountain extends beyond the realm of art and theater. It has found its way into the fabric of cultural discourse, serving as a focal point in works such as Tony Kushner's Angels in America, a gay fantasia on national themes. The interplay between art, history, and culture weaves a rich tapestry, offering insights into the complexities of human expression and experience. Through the lens of this production and its connection to the Bethesda Fountain, we glimpse the enduring power of storytelling and its ability to resonate across time and space. Amidst the towering buildings and bustling streets of Manhattan, a poignant scene unfolds at the southeast corner of Park Avenue and 68th Street, just across from Hunter College. Here, the characters of the story find resolution, guided by a sense of togetherness and spirituality. The intersection becomes a symbolic stage where themes of community and self-discovery converge, offering a relatable glimpse into urban life. The filmmakers intentionally chose this location to ground the narrative in a recognizable setting, highlighting universal themes against the backdrop of city living. As the characters embrace their final moments, the urban surroundings bear witness to their journey, adding depth to the storytelling. Ultimately, the southeast corner of Park Avenue and 68th Street, with Hunter College nearby, serves as a fitting backdrop for the closing scene, enhancing the movie's impact and resonance with audiences. In a surprising twist, the lead actor of a popular film met with a tragic accident shortly after its release. The talented performer had just started to showcase his skills in the industry, leaving behind a potential for greater success. The movie, which came out in 1973, demonstrates the director's creative vision. It blends biblical stories with a modern touch, captivating audiences with its fresh storytelling. With lively music and strong acting, the cast brings Jesus' teachings to life on screen. Their infectious energy and camaraderie make the movie memorable, prompting viewers to ponder themes of love, kindness, and second chances. Despite initial obstacles like a tight budget and unusual filming spots, 
The team worked hard to deliver a captivating film. Their dedication shines through, creating a lasting work that still touches audiences today. Sadly, shortly after the film's release, one of its stars passed away in a car accident, cutting short a promising career and leaving fans and colleagues mourning. Despite the loss, the impact of the film lives on, reminding us of the power of storytelling to inspire and provoke thought. In the world of cinema, this movie remains a timeless favorite, known for its innovative storytelling and hopeful message. As viewers revisit the film, they're reminded of the creator's vision and the talented people who made it happen. In an unexpected twist related to a popular film from the 1970s, a tragic incident occurred during production, casting a shadow over the entire project. Despite this sorrowful event, the team persevered to complete the movie, showcasing resilience in the face of adversity. Moving beyond this sad occurrence, the film emerged as a unique cinematic piece, known for its unconventional storytelling and creative portrayal of biblical stories. Directed by David Green, it brought forth an innovative approach, blending humor, music, and religious themes. The movie's distinct visual style, with its lively colors and dynamic camera work, added to its lasting appeal. The use of city settings and simple set designs created a memorable visual experience for viewers. The ensemble cast, each portraying distinct characters, delivered compelling performances. With memorable songs and emotionally resonant scenes, the film left a lasting impression on audiences. In conclusion, the movie remains a notable entry in cinematic history, marked by its innovative storytelling and memorable characters, despite facing challenges during production. Its impact speaks volumes about the creative talent involved, leaving a significant mark on the industry.